to everyone today. So we are back to opening items at home. Has any one of you missed this background behind me? If you're wondering why I'm dressed very, very beautifully, or I think it's beautiful anyway, it's because I've just came back from a farewell drinks gathering with my former boss who also happens to be one of my party buddies and one of my closest friends here. His name is Michael. He's Malaysian. He's been in Macau for about 14 years and have decided to just pack up and go further his career in other places. He chose to go to Saipan. He's got a very good job offer in Saipan so he moved his whole family there. And tonight we had some sort of drinks gathering for him. It was a little bit of a sad moment for me because he is the best boss that I've had in my career. And anyway, so we're here to talk about my mail, not about him. So what shall we be opening tonight? So these are the pieces of mail that we're opening tonight. I'm looking forward to these two packages, especially this one. I know this is a book because well, it says book depository. But let's go to that in a bit. So first off, let us look at this beautiful postcard. Look at that. This is from Montreal. I like this postcard. I think this is my first Montreal postcard, so I'm quite excited when I saw this. This is from one of my postcard friends. Her name is Robin Garrels and obviously she lives in Canada. So this is what she says. Thank you for thinking of me and sending me a surprise postcard. Here is one for my recent trip to Montreal, Quebec. Hmm. A photo doesn't quite capture the beauty of this building. I got goosebumps the moment I stepped inside. Nice! It's a very very beautiful postcard. I like how glossy it looks. Thank you very much for this Robin. This was very very unexpected. Next up we have is something from the UK. I do not know who this is from yet because there is no return address on it. But take a look at that beautiful beautiful wax seal on that thing. Look at that. Do you guys play with wax seals? Um, I don't have a wax seal kit yet, but it looks fun. Anyway, I am not going to destroy the wax seal, so let us open it the usual way with my beautiful samurai sword leather opener. Hmm, okay. You could actually, there's actually a hole in there. Hello, hello. Jeez. Sorry, destroy the stamp. Let's see who this is from. This is from Lisa Porter. Here are your wishes. Cute sticky notes. I hope you like it. I think Bob is so cute. Do you know which Bob she's referring to? Do -do -do -do. Minions! Bob from the Minions. Look at that. So it's a sticky note. Thank you very much for granting my wish. This is lovely. Before we go to this two, let us open this one first. This one also is a mystery package. There is no name on this one. But I have a feeling I know who sent me this. I sent out a lot of mail and so far I have not really memorized anyone's addresses yet. Even though there are certain people that I do send mail to, I know I'm just horrible at that. But there are times when I receive packages like this without the return address or the name on it. I have a feeling I know where it's from. So let's see if I'm correct, okay? The only reason I remember this address is because I think it's a little bit unique. So this was sent from Terre Haute, Indiana. My name's Indiana, right? So Terre Haute, Indiana. And I only know one lady from Terre Haute, Indiana. Her name is Sharia. Let us see if I'm correct or not. So again, just to let you know, there are no return addresses on it. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just going off with this label. This looks like some sort of document. I don't know, to be honest. Right, so I could sort of like fold it like that. Let's see if this guess is correct too. I could sort of fold it like that. And if I am not mistaken, this could be a pocket letter. 
Although at this point, I'm not too sure why she would send me a pocket letter. I don't remember requesting for it or participating in any tags that requires pocket letters. But we shall see. I'm so excited for this one. Let's see. Am I right? So two things, right? One is this is from Shariah and the other thing is this is a pocket leather. You guys have a look first. Ah, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Um, not really correct, but oh my god, I, oh, this is great. First, let's find the note since I always seem to not read the notes first. This is great. Guess what? I am correct. I am correct. See? Shariah. Chriselle, enjoy your rack. It's another rack. Some of these are so cute, I may go back to get some more. Hugs, Shariah. It's not a pocket letter, but it could be folded into a pocket letter. So what are these? I'll show you this one first. Look at how cute that is. These are gift cards. I think I mentioned that I collect gift cards, right? This is from Starbucks and it says there Starbucks plus Tristan Eaton special edition Starbucks card. It is a tiger gift card from Starbucks. That is so cool. And let us look at the rest. Why did I think it was a pocket letter? Look at those goodies. Look. Look. Look, look, wow, it just looks so colorful. And even the paper that she used as the background looks very nice. And as you can see, you could do a trifold on it that also gives the impression that it's actually a pocket letter. And it costs her 4.94 US to send them over. Let us take a look at them. So there are some duplicates, but that is fine. Look at that. You're the best. No, Shirai. You are the best. Next one is winning. Oh, they're all from Starbucks. Nice. You're the best. Winning. You're my happy place. Very nice. I wish someone would comment on my YouTube channel and say, Chriselle, you are my happy place. And then we have this birthday one. You and me. Oh, what's this one? Oh, yeah. You and me, oh yeah, yay, you, you rock and besties. And let's look at the other one. So there are some duplicates, like I said. This one is, yay, you, you're awesome, Shariah, you are awesome. That's just a plain one without any words. You're the best. Winning, also no words, but it's got a beautiful design of coffee mug and coffee pot. You and me, oh yeah. And then another birthday card one. Damn, this is awesome. It just looks so colorful and it's just the beautiful presentation of it. It looks quite simple, right? But just look at, look at how everything is so aligned in the background of this. I'm speechless. Thank you so much for this, Sharia. This was very unexpected. But I suppose that's what racks are, right? You don't really say when you're sending it. Yay! Next up, we have these two packages. I love this one. Purple is my favorite color. Both these packages are from the same lady. Her name is Jill Nicole Alexander. So I participated in a paperback book tag where you have to send someone a paperback book. I know how expensive it is to send books. So I told the person that they could order on Book Depository because Book Depository ships worldwide for free. And they actually ship to Macau as well. Macau is actually a recognized city on Book Depository, which is why I was so excited when I first heard about Book Depository. Anyway, I love Book Depository. I love it. Mainly, of course, because of the fact that they ship to Macau for free or they just ship to Macau, period. You know, I don't care if it's free or not, you know, as long as they ship to Macau, that is fine with me. Um, they also have very reasonably priced books. There's a wide range of books. 
and it's just a very friendly website. This website is based in the UK. I have been ordering from them for about three or four years now. The first time I got on the website, I was absolutely crazy. I just ordered books and books and books and books. The only negative thing I have to say about the Postery is because they ship for free, they do not provide tracking on any of the packages or any of the items that you order. So it's really a guessing game on whether your items will show up or not. Most of the time, the items show up anyway, but again, it was just a guessing game on whether they show up or on which date they show up. From Book Depository or from UK to Macau, it usually takes about two weeks. But I've had instances where it takes about a month or more than that and that I found out depends on whichever route the items take for packages delivered to me when the items are shipped from the UK they either go via France or Vienna both of those routes take about two weeks which is good but once they go to the Netherlands if they take the Netherlands route and it's like, oh, it's like a waiting game because it's gonna take about a month, if not more, for those items to reach here. Anyway, I've also had instances where the items did not show up. I was very annoyed actually because it was during Christmas. Those items were Christmas gifts. And I placed my order close to the end of November. All of them did not show up in time for Christmas. Some of them showed up beginning of January and some just didn't show up at all. But the positive thing about Book Repository is that if the items do not show up, they are actually quite good with exchanging or refunds or even returns. If an item does not show up, they could either refund you or send another book to you. And if the first book arrives, then you just get to keep it. I love Book Depository, but again, it's just a waiting game with them. However, I know the US and the UK and the other Western countries have Amazon and eBay and all of that. But a lot of the times, those websites do not ship to Macau. It was only until recently, I think about three or four years ago, that Amazon US decides to ship to Macau, but it's only certain items. And of course, the shipping costs are just expensive. Even AliExpress, I know a lot of you use AliExpress. AliExpress is seriously just next door to Macau. It is based in China. It's just next door. But guess what? AliExpress does not ship to Macau. Well, not all of the items anyway. And even if they do ship to Macau, the shipping costs is just so high. I could ship like for example, um, just for example, this one, okay, Unikitty. I could order this on AliExpress and ship it to anyone in the US or UK for free. But if I order this for myself and ask them to ship it over to Macau, I have to pay shipping. Now, which is weird. That's why I love Book Depository. They are so friendly to us here in Macau. I recommend Book Depository. However, of course, not all websites are perfect, right? Book Depository, listen up. With my friend Jill, I recommended her to go on this website just so she could get free shipping. And she did. But apparently, she had problems with the Book Depository team. Jill lives in the US, but apparently when she placed the order on Book Depository, she was informed by the Book Depository team that they do not deliver items to Macau. It's like, um, hello, I've been ordering from you guys for the past three or four years. What do you mean you don't deliver items to Macau? But apparently she's had a very frustrating experience with the Book Depository response team when it came to sending this item out and the team insisted that seriously, we don't ship orders to Macau. I'm like, okay, you know. But look, I'm not sure how they work, but I'm pretty sure if you typed in my address into your database, I'm sure my address would come up or any addresses from Macau. So I really do not understand why they are saying that they do not deliver items to Macau. Because the book depository team did not really reassure Jill and sort of implied that the item could be lost along the way. That's why Jill sent me another book package. So book depository, come on, what is up with your team? Hmm? 
all right it is because of your lack of reassurance to my friend in the u.s that's why she was nice enough to me to send another package with books this looks like there are two books in it at the postage cost of 10.31 us dollars so that's postage on top of these two books plus this one of the pastry come on i love you guys but come on make it easy on me and my friends please anyway that's enough about book pastry so let's open this up first da -da 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 -da. i don't know what jill said so this is very very exciting what books do you guys read what genre do you like okay let's see oh and the good thing about book pastry is that there is always always a bookmark with every purchase so let's see what bookmark is that's the bookmark i've not seen this one before but oh that is so cool so turn to it it says to my book bestie who is your book bestie unfortunately i don't really have a book bestie here in macau because i don't really have a lot of friends who read books but the message on the back is a little bit ironic isn't it because you know you're sending over this bookmark through the book repository website how are you gonna write a message on this one to send along with the book that you just ordered huh book repository hmm? anyway enough about that so let's look at this one Cool. look at how thick that book is let's see how many pages first it has oh that's gonna last me a while it has 440 pages this is called the house of secrets and it is by sarah manning i have not heard of this book before so this is very exciting for me let's read what it says in the back an ordinary house on an ordinary london street built in 1936 and never lived in its rooms might be empty but this house is full of secrets okay so the review says it's deeply satisfying and impossible to put down Guess what? I'm gonna put it down now. <laughs> I'm acting silly. I've only had one chocolate teeny and two, two or three balls of Corona at the drinks gathering. I'm jolly, but I'm not tipsy. Anyway, let's get to this one. This is so cool. I like the purple color in this one. They do not sell purple bubble mailers here in Macau or any color for that matter. They only sell them the standard brown color. I just love how she decorated it as well with that beautiful washi tape that she used. And if I moved over a little bit, she even stuck a sticker there. This is so nice. Come on. I need to cut through this tape. Or scissor. Oh, scissor is more smooth. It really does feel like there are two books in here. Let's read the notes. I have received a tag for a paperback book from Jill Nicole Alexander. Sending these items just in case the book from bookdepository.com doesn't make it. Sending two because it's going to take a long time to arrive. <laughs> Hope you like them. I'm sure I will like them. Let's see. Let's see. I cannot believe she sent over three books. Now I owe her a lot. <laughs> she has a tiny, tiny magnetic mermaid tail bookmark too. This is so cool. And these are the two books. Look. One is Cancelled by Murder. That sounds interesting already. And the other one is Death of a Crabby Cook. <laughs> That's a very, very interesting title. Look at that. Has any one of you heard of these two books before? Let me just read the back. Death of a Crabby Cook. At the San Francisco Seafood Festival, someone is steamed enough to kill a cook. When restaurant reviewer Darcy Burnett gets served a pink slip from San Francisco Chronicle, she needs to come up with an alternative recipe for success quickly. Her feisty aunt Abby owns a tricked out school bus which she's converted into a hip and happening food truck and Darcy comes aboard as a part-timer while she develops a cookbook 
project based on recipe from food fest in the Bay Area, but she soon finds someone's trafficking in character assassination, literally. When a local chef turns up dead, and her aunt is framed for the murder. Oh my god. The restaurant chef was an outspoken enemy of food trucks, and now Darcy wonders if one of the other vendors did him in. With her aunt's business and freedom on the line, it's up to Darcy to steer the murder investigation in the right direction and put the brakes on an out-of-control killer. Sounds very interesting. Oh, it's by Penny Pike. Mm, and it says, first in a new series, Death of a Crabby Cook. Let's go to the next one. This one, I think I'm gonna enjoy so much. It says cancelled by murder and it says they're a post-mistress mystery. And if you look at that, it is actually a post office. It's actually a picture of a post office. You've got a cat there. Of course, you need to have a cat. And then you've got some letters down there. This is very fitting for us. This is by Jane Flowers. And it says there, a first class first in what looks to be a wonderful new cozy series. This I think I'm gonna like. Make this mystery series your priority. Okay, I'm gonna read this one first. It says there, Cassie Miller returns to her sleepy hometown in the Berkshires to start over as the new postmistress. But she soon finds that dead letters are nothing compared to murder victims. With a massive storm about to hit North Ashcott, Massachusetts, threatening floods and widespread wind damage, Cassie is forced to close up the post office while the rest of the local business owners and residents batten down the hatches and brace themselves for the worst. Although the storm proves to be not as bad as predicted, fabric shop owner Daisy Harmon is found dead, <sighs> seemingly killed by a fallen branch. Hmm, that's where the mystery comes in. But the police quickly determined that her death has nothing to do with foul weather and everything to do with foul play. After Daisy's widowed husband approaches Cassie to help solve his wife's murder, she vows to find the killer before another innocent victim is taken by storm. But why would you approach a postmistress to help you solve a murder? Anyway, this I'm gonna love. So these are what I received from Jill Nicole Alexander. So I've got this one and this one and the one from Book the Post Tree. Gosh, I'm such a spoiled brat, aren't I? These are absolutely lovely. Thank you very much, Jill. I love books and um I'm sorry about Book the Post Tree, but thank you. Thank you for sending over three books you shouldn't have, but this is just lovely. These are just awesome. I'm gonna... I think I owe you one. Let us recap on the items that I opened up today. So I've got these three books. I've got postcard, Minions, but... Sticky notes. And the ones from my not-so-mystery sender, Shariah. Well, that is it for me today. I think I have spoken... <laughs> I think I have talked a lot again. Hope everyone has a nice day and I hope everyone has enjoyed today's vlog. Take care and do not forget to subscribe. Have a good day everyone. Bye.